Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be talking about Delphi studies. Let's get started. The Delphi method is a structured communication technique or method originally developed as a systematic interactive forecasting method which relies on a panel of experts. Delphi is based on the principle that forecasts or decisions from a structured group of individuals are more accurate than those of an unstructured group. The key to conducting a good Delphi study is a good planning and traditional Delphi studies will go through the following steps. One, decide on the general aims of the study. As is usual at the sta this stage with any research method, you begin with a statement of the problem, then turn this into a specific aims, which you're organized into a set of sequential tasks and issues to be tackled. As the Delphi method is already so well defined, the research design is set a priori. There are a number of studies that are referred to as modified Delphi studies. If this is the case with your study, then it will be necessary to design the pattern of research and be in a position to justify the modifications of the process. Two, review all the relevant literature and documentation. This can be such as descriptions of service, mission statements, research, or annual reports. And we'll follow this, uh, the processes that were established previous, in previous videos. You should also discuss your developing ideas with key informants and experts at this stage in the research. Three, identify an expert panel who can inform uh, the investigation. Make contact well in advance of the data collection and be sure to explain exactly what it means to agree to be part of the panel. This will not be a one-time affair. Provide any potential panel members with a detailed outline of what will be required, and remember, it is better to, be, uh, to have fewer members on the panel who are prepared to engage in all stages of the study than to have a large panel to begin with, only to lose members as the research progresses. Four. Uh, you will now be in a position to describe your research question in detail and state your hypothesis if you have one. You may even have several. Five, you will now need to design the appropriate questionnaire. Delphi studies always use questionnaires. It is the only acceptable form of data collection within a traditional Delphi method. If this is not appropriate to your research question, then you are obviously conducting a modified Delphi study and you need to be explicit about this in your methodology. Six, always pilot your data collection instrument, amend and try again. This is almost certainly the single most important step in the chain. You may think that your questions are crystal clear with no hint of ambiguity. You will be amazed at how many meanings there can be given uh, to the apparently straightforward question or instruction. Seven, this would be uh, looking at round one. Uh, sent out a questionnaire to all members of the expert panel at the same time. Collate and summarize the responses and return them to all panel members. In a traditional Delphi study, this initial questionnaire will usually consist of a small number of open-ended questions. And the purpose here being to encourage the panel to present their reaction in a detailed and descriptive narrative. Eight, round two. Send a list of ideas, comments, and viewpoints taken from all the responses of the panel members. There must be total anonymity in the list. No comment being attributed to another individual. Ask the panel members to review the statements and assign a rank of numerical value demonstrating their level of agreement or disagreement within the given statement. Give an opportunity for panel members to make additional statements or comments. Nine. Once you have processed the second round, decide if further rounds are necessary. If consensus is reached as uh, early as in the second round, then it is perfectly legitimate to stop here. This is fairly unusual and new comments are frequently added at this stage. The reaction from the panel when they receive their first feedback is usually to make more additional comments. Reading the thoughts and ideas of others drawn together in the collective list often triggers extended thinking on these issues. The next round should be, uh, uh, will be to synthesize uh, that of the second list ranked in additional comments. Ask panel members to rank the additional comments in the same way 
as they did with the first list. This process is going to continue until you feel consensus has been reached and no further information is being added. 10. Process is going to be ongoing. As the data will be processed each round, it is an it is usual for the Delphi study to include three to seven rounds. In modified studies, the numbers of rounds may uh, vary, but it is necessary to provide a robust justification for the modifications. 11. You will now be able to write up your research report. You'll describe your results in words and pictures, interpret your data, and draw conclusions. The ranking system used in the traditional Delphi study allows users graphical representation, and the aim is to reach consensus. Although most reports also include the uh, maverick or outlier comments that are inevitably appear in any research case. Only experts are used on the panel. The whole point of engaging in a Delphi study is to make the most of the expert opinion. It is therefore counterintuitive to invite anyone onto the panel who is not an expert. It may often be tempting to make up number uh, the numbers by attempting to involve someone who may have some knowledge of the subject but is not truly an expert. It is better to have fewer members but retain the expert integrity of the panel. All data is collected in writing because of the nature of this method. There is potential of the research searcher to make assumptions, but interpretation of the data is essential, as it is with most research. When the panel responds in writing, there is evidence of their contribution, and if their response change, responses change during subsequent rounds of the investigation, the written evidence is there to, as an audit trail to allow for the independent analyst to examine the evidence and confirm the credibility of the interpretation. Of course, the added advantage is that Generally speaking, people uh, take more considered approach to writing down their thoughts uh, than providing a verbal response. There is a systematic attempt to produce a consensus. There is a deliberate attempt to achieve some form of consensus from the panel, although not always achievable. It is the goal of this method. This is not uh, concerned with manipulation or coercion, it is concerned with sharing of views and being given the opportunity to consider views based on opposing arguments. Panel members are given anonymity. In order to encourage honest and open answers to the questions being asked, much of the literature on Delphi method states that the identity of the individual members of the panel should never be disclosed. This is often very difficult in areas where all experts will be aware of the other experts in the field. Anonymity has usually been a characteristic of a Delphi study, but many modified studies do not place anonymity high on the priority list. Usually, the given uh, reason is that there is more to be gained by engaging in whatever activity relies on members seeing each other uh, than there is from keeping them apart. Knowing that contributions are being made by those is the best possible position to comment encourages more honest and better considered responses. At least two rounds are used. The purpose of a Delphi study is to reach consensus. This means allowing experts to consider and reconsider their views and opinions in light of the views of others. This cannot be done in a single round of questioning. The researcher in this situation is both a researcher and a moderator acting as a go-between as ideas are shared, modified, and debated. At least two rounds is the absolute minimum. Three or more rounds are common, and the goal is to reach consensus, having allowed the panel maximum opportunity to contribute their thoughts and ideas. Consensus is the most common outcome, but occasionally there is a divergence result. A Delphi study seeks to achieve consensus, but this is not always possible. Where ideas continue to run at odds with each other, this uh, must be reported as part of the research findings. It is rare that an entire study would accumulate in a uh, complete divergence, but not unlikely that there is an element of divergence in the findings. A modified Delphi study is often used to describe the research method used when one or more of the rules of the Delphi study has been deliberately omitted from the study. Caution must be taken when modifying a Delphi study as the design was created for a specific purpose and any modification may well disrupt the process. 
The use of email to deliver and return questionnaires, digital qu questionnaires online, and posting a feedback in a virtual uh, space and the potential for online virtual discussion forums are encouraging greater use of traditional approaches and increasing opportunities for variation and modified Delphi studies. As with other research methods, the impact and use of technology can only really be seen in data collection and analysis. The methods uh, remain constant and the structure of the Delphi study will not be altered by mechanisms adopted to data collection providing that the research design remains constant. If you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.